Today for Wellness Wednesday, the hidden cost, the true cost of breast cancer. Of course, uh, the cost personally is great from the pain and the treatments, preventative measures, surgeries. But this morning, we're actually looking at the financial burdens the deadly disease can have on one's life. A new study from the Pink Fund says about one third of patients were actually more scared about how the treatments would affect their finances than the cancer itself. And that comes with good reason. 36% reported losing their job after being diagnosed with breast cancer and 23% said they nearly went bankrupt. Joining me this morning, Molly McDonald, who knows the story all too well. You basically were going through a difficult job transition, a divorce, breast cancer diagnosis, and financial toxicity. We were talking a few minutes ago about what that is. Can you explain for the folks at home? Yes, financial toxicity is an actual side effect designated by the American Society of Clinical Oncology a few years ago. And it talks, it's the emotional, physical, and mental financial side of treatment. So we all know that cancer treatment is expensive. You know, we have our deductibles, our co-pays, prescriptions, hospital admissions. But when it's combined with loss of income, that's when you really start to spiral downward financially. And you're at risk for catastrophic financial losses, like the loss of your home, the repossession of a vehicle, the shutoff of utilities, sometimes the loss of your health insurance. And when that happens, you're pretty hopeless. You were in a difficult state, and yet somehow you found the resolve, the strength to fund, to find the fund, and, and that was in 2006. It took you a decade to get out of the hole that you were in. How in the world did you create something to help breast cancer uh, battlers during their most difficult financial times? Well, when I couldn't get any help for myself, and I asked the hospital social workers, everyone at the hospital, could somebody pay a bill for me? Um, and I met other working women like myself who were struggling financially while in treatment. I just, it came to me, I should give help. If I can't get help, maybe I could give help. And if I could help one family, then that would make sense of what happened to us. So I bought a book called How to Form a Nonprofit Corporation. It started with a book. A book, a $50 book, which I recommend to anybody to buy before they start one. And it's very thick and way too much to read. But, um, I had a vision for this organization, and the minute I had that shift in thinking, even despite the fact I was still in line at the food bank and bargaining with creditors, I became so energized and empowered thinking I could make a difference that I was like a rabbit. I was just going forward. And I tell people, if I could take that shift in thinking, put it in a gel cap, and give it to everybody, the world would be a nicer place. How much money have you raised to help breast cancer? Balance. Well, I can't tell you how much we've raised total over the last 12 years, but we have paid out over 2.3 million. It's about 2.3 million, 341,070 cents. <laughs> tell everybody about the event on October 5th. So we have an event in Michigan that benefits Michigan patients only, and it is called Dancing with the Survivors. Breast cancer survivors are paired with Fred Astaire pros from Bloomfield Hills, and they perform in a showcase. It's not a competition because these women have already been through quite a bit but they perform in order to raise money for us. Each dancer is raising $3,000 to support one woman in treatment. You know, I, I witnessed you interact with somebody who uh, said that was literally a game changer, a lifesaver. So mm -hmm. you're definitely doing the good work and mm -hmm. we, we really appreciate it, Molly. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. How can somebody find out more information? Just go to the website, thepinkfund.org. You can purchase tickets there under events and you can look to the full survey. All right, thank you so much. Thank you.